Hello, Poker News. I'm Aaron, and I'm here with the one, the only, Jason Kuhn, brand new GG Poker ambassador himself. So I'm surprised as many other poker players are that this is your first WSOP bracelet. Yeah. First of all, how do you feel about that? Feels great. Uh, I've been been here a long time uh, since my first trip, basically right out of college, and uh, always wanted to get one. And I told my brother ten years ago, "Hey, win my first bracelet. It's coming to you." So it's good to finally get to send him one. And I need to know, how did you win the hearts of so many poker players without even having your first WSOP bracelet under your belt? Uh, I've just been out here grinding a long time. I've got a lot of friends, uh, not just players, but media and faculty. Uh, just, just friends with just about everyone here. And now you've got a new friend in me as well. So. There you go. <laughs> Many superstitious players have this thing where whether you first get married or you have your first kid yeah. brings you luck in tournaments. <laughs> Do you have baby Callum to thank for this? I mean, it's there's something to it. My buddy Chidwick, he was holding his baby Aaron and won the 50K PLO a few years back. And, uh, you know, I'm not a superstitious guy, but how can you argue with the results? So, were you sitting at that table and there was one hand that you felt, I might actually win a bracelet with this hand? Um, yeah, I mean, there were, there are definitely a few, uh, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of spots, especially in heads up, you don't have good hands very often where you're kind of barreling away with a draw and then the draw comes in and you're like, oh, this, uh, this might, this might go my way. And then of course I won the huge flip for basically all of the chips and, um, yeah, you know, you never, especially in heads up, you never, you never count it being over until it's over. He, he had two big blinds and, and was back to a 10, so I had a little sweat on my hands, but closed it up. And it worked out in your favor. Yeah, sure. So I, obviously you're pretty into fitness, I do have to say. Very much. <laughs> so what do you do when you're sitting through a really long hand where you just kind of need to limber up? Um, well, I, people laugh at me, but I always have a Theragun on me, so I'm like, I'm not uh, sponsored by Theragun, by the way. Uh, so I do like the massage kind of stuff, um, always stretching, and um, every day when I don't play, if I, if I don't get to work out, I sauna and cold plunge every single day. So. I'd love to hear it. Thank you yeah. for the tips. So make sure you follow along with Jason's journey, as well as all the other poker updates on PokerNews.com, powered by Club GG.